what's going on youtube it's your boy don chi back again once again for another reaction review video for y'all and today 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 man we have a very special segment i got in front of me godzilla versus king kong epic rap battles of history sitting at 1.7 million views over the course of six days number 14 on the trending music charts of youtube it's lit it's going up and i'm very excited to check out what the buzz and hype is over this music video um as y'all probably already know we usually do actual characters actual artists man but this is a special episode because these are fictional characters man epic rap battle history i'm very excited to see what all the buzz and hype is about on this but first y'all know what we gotta do man we can't get into this video without going a little background check a little history lesson over our contestants today so without further ado let's jump right into this thing and go over a few facts about our artists if you did not know godzilla is a fictional monster that debuted in the 1954 film i guess self-titled uh directed and co-written by hishiro honda and no not the same makers of honda i think he just made godzilla don't call me on that i i think he just made godzilla um the character has since been an international pop culture icon appearing in 33 Japanese films, video games, novels, comic books, and TV shows. Phenomenal. Just fucking great. I remember the the first American movie, Godzilla came out in 99. I remember the cartoon um episodes on TV, action figures, all that stuff. Big Godzilla fan right here. Godzilla has been dubbed the king of the monsters. Um a little a title first used in Godzilla King of the Monsters, the self-titled film, in 1956. Uh, Godzilla, if you didn't know, is a prehistoric reptilian monster awakened and empowered after many years by nuclear radiation. Uh, with the nuclear bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan uh, still fresh in the Japanese consciousness, Godzilla was conceived as a metaphor for nuclear weapons. Um, others have suggested that Godzilla is a metaphor for the U.S., the United States, uh, as a giant beast that awoken from its slumber uh, that then takes its terrible vengeance on Japan. Tis, tis, man. Uh, as the film series expanded, some storylines took on less serious undertones, portraying uh, Godzilla as a... Um, uh, anti-hero or as a lesser threat who defends humanity so um pretty interesting stuff there i would have to say i didn't know that um his concept and um character was bridged uh upon the bombings of hiroshima and nagasaki that makes a lot of sense um nuclear warfare those things happened in 1990 1945 um and then also uh, we do see a lot of stories and history of him terrorizing Japanese people, people in general, and then others where he actually saves them and he got to defend his hood. You know what I'm saying? Any other monsters come in this, this joint, I'm going to have to, you know, buck up. What's up? So, um, yeah, that, that's a little background check on Godzilla, man, if you didn't know. Um, moving on to my other contestant, King Kong, man, real quick. Uh, King Kong is a fictional giant monster resembling a gorilla who has appeared in various media since 1933. So King Kong has a longer history than Godzilla by about 20 years. Uh, dubbed the King of the Beast uh, from its inception and over time, it would also be bestowed the title Eighth Wonder of the World. Nice. Um, his first appearance was in the novelization of the 1933 film, King Kong from RKO Pictures. Uh, King Kong has come has become one of the world's most famous movie icons, having inspired a number of sequels, remakes, spin-offs, imitators, uh, parodies, cartoons, books, comics, video games, theme park rides, and a stage play. And I can certainly attest to um, being part of all those things, especially the theme park rides. If you've never been to Universal Studios, man, it used to be a bomb. It might still be there. I don't think so, though. 
But uh, this would be a bomb ass King Kong ride there. And I remember the King Kong ride just being, you know, not super realistic, but when you're nine years old, that shit was epic as hell. You know what I'm saying? You drive, you know, through the city and I, I get confused between that one, Earthquake and E.T. Like they was all kind of anyway, bomb ass ride though. It was dope. Uh, and then his role in the different narrative varies, ranging from an egregious monster to a tragic antihero. So King Kong and Godzilla, very similar, man. Very similar entities. Um, King Kong has a little bit more history than Godzilla, I didn't know. But yeah, definitely two goaded uh, King of the Monsters, King of the Beast. Excellent. Fantastic. So um, yeah, we're about to get into this music video, man. I'm not sure what to expect. I have seen a few epic rap battles in history. So, you know, you kind of know what to expect out of that. But this is sitting... At number 14 on the charts, man. So I'm excited to see what it's about. Let's check it out, man. You know, y'all know we got a new Godzilla King Kong movie coming out this year. So I'm sure this is in anticipation of that. But without further ado, y'all, this is Godzilla versus King Kong epic rap battles and action. I'm right here. Some bars. Some monster bars. Let's go. Let's go. Hey! Damn! 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 Okay. Goofy Berry too. Damn. <laughs> okay. Damn. Hey. Dude. Shots fired. Hey. Yes, sir, y'all, man. There you have it. There you 
have it. That was Godzilla versus King Kong. Epic rap battles of history. Final thoughts on this video, man. I gotta give it a nine out of ten, bro. Nine out of ten. That shit was dope. That shit was hot, man. I do have to say, who do I think won between Godzilla and King Kong? I gotta say, Kong took that one, man. Kong took that one. Um, I am a big Godzilla fan. Probably a bigger Godzilla fan than King Kong, but Kong had them bars on there. He was he was roasting the fuck out of out of uh Godzilla. So uh uh kudos to to epic epic rap battles of history, man. I know they've been doing this shit for a long time. It's still funny. I enjoyed the graphics, I enjoyed the jam. Pretty solid, man. So anyway, y'all, if y'all enjoyed this video, man, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Leave me a comment. Let me know what video y'all want to see next. I'm a hip-hop artist out of ATL as well. So y'all check out some of the tunes I got going on. I just dropped a few singles. I'm dropping one, another one pretty soon. Um, so yeah, y'all be on the lookout for that. And of course, until next time. Cheers.